What's up guys, Collector B here and happy Sunday. We are back with a fantastic, fantastic toy haul today. Super excited. We got some really awesome things from a bunch of my buddies and uh, a lot of mail calls and found a couple things this week, but yes. So if you're new, please like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe. You guys are fantastic. We love you. Uh, thank you all for coming back. So, there will be <laughs> something moved. There will be no pops. There might be sideboard, but um, there might. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> there will be no pops today. Boo. Boo. The wife doesn't feel like doing a video today. <laughs> so, but she'll be back. She's got quite some roots. Quite some really good. Some really <laughs> cool. I can't talk today. Some really cool pops uh, that will be in the video next week. So, but. We still got a ton of stuff today. So we're going to start off with uh, actually something that's not on the table. And I'm just going to show you guys because I found it and I think it's pretty cool. But I'm not going to open it. So we went to Walmart yesterday and we actually also saw this at Target. Uh, boom! We've got Darth Maul. It's from the Clone Wars, right? Yes, from the Clone Wars. So Black Series... Uh, Star Wars. I don't collect a ton of Star Wars. It's mostly um, Darth Vader, some Boba Fett, and some Siths like this. But I did need a Darth Maul. So, like I said, walked into Walmart, found it, and then we ended up going to Target and found it later. Um, I do really like these boxes. I'm glad they have kind of stayed with these in Star Wars. Uh, I know that Hasbro has announced that window boxes are coming back, so that is pretty cool. But this is pretty cool. This is where he gets his new legs in the Clone Wars after getting chopped in half. So had to grab this, but most of my Star Wars stuff I don't open. So we're not going to open it, but did want to show you guys. So he is at Walmart and Target. So you can find that pretty easily. So boom. So I don't even know where to begin. So we're going to start with Tanjiro, I guess. Tanjiro. So my buddy... Ryan, shout out to Ryan, and my buddy Jason, shout out to Jason. Um, they both found these, and I had no idea they were coming out, and we still have not seen them in stores at all, have we? No. Well, Ryan found them first for me, and he said, hey, look at these, and I was like, oh, you gotta grab me those. So, and then my buddy Jason got us another set, so one set for me, one set for the wife. Thank you, guys. You are amazing, and what I'm talking about is, boom, we have Ooh. Bondi ultimate legends demon slayer tanjiro i know it's tanjiro guys but i like to say tanjiro so uh yeah i had no idea about these i didn't know they were coming out but these boxes are That's so cool. so cool i mean they are just awesome so i want to see how these figures are i don't expect them to be amazing but i bet they're not too bad at all but again they found these at target i still have not seen them and i think they're only like 16 dollars for this as well which is really cool but this this box art is fantastic i'm really digging this box and you can see tanjiro's face in there as well so really cool so um i do have a bunch of mcfarlane demon slayer stuff should be showing up next week uh but this is bondi so we're gonna see exactly how these are i'm pretty curious and I really don't want to like don't destroy ruin the this box. box. So yeah, I want to see how it opens because it looks pretty unique, honestly. And oh, well, I just scratched the heck out of the back. There we go. Let's see. Boom. So, oh yeah, that is way cool. So, boom, you open ah. it up and look at that. So that's really cool that they do stuff like this. Like, I mean, obviously once I pull this off, I'm going to destroy <laughs> this box, but that's really, really awesome. Mm -hmm. I mean, the art on this thing is fantastic. So Mine will be staying in their boxes. Mine will be staying in their boxes. Yeah, I might have to get another set <laughs> to keep in box as well. Because, yeah, I know some people will say, well, you can get like an X-Acto knife and you can cut this out all nice and pretty. I'm not going to spend the time on that, but I mean, look at that. That's really cool, which is nice. I kind of really didn't damage this, so if I really wanted to, I could cut that off, mm -hmm. and you'll lose a little bit, but just really awesome box art. Really cool. So, here is Tanjiro. Tanjiro. And again, for 
16 dollars i believe um he comes with extra hands he comes with his sword so pretty pretty cool i don't know how this comes off there we go all right so you do get which these hands are very interesting these pegs on here so you do get fist hands with tangero um yeah these pegs are something else though it is really never seen pegs like these on hands before but those are kind of weird but so you do get fist hands he comes with open hands in um i really like that they did this which wow that looks that looks pretty good pretty good so they do give you his full nichirin sword and then you also just get the uh, handle. handle which i'm sure will go into his sheath which is cool so i wonder if the whole sword doesn't go in kind of like the figmas but the sword looks actually pretty good and the handle looks pretty good tangero like why did you have to print that on the sword though yeah i know Here's i hate reading. when they do stuff like that but okay Wow, these are, this is not a terrible figure at all. This is like a lot like the Figmas a little bit, but wow, this thing's pretty good. I'm, I'm actually pretty impressed. So, boom, there is Tanjiro. Now, I do wish they would have given him a different face. I wish you would have almost got this face that is on the box instead of that just generic one. So kind of a bummer. But, I mean... It's the face on your t-shirt. It is the face on my t-shirt. But he's pretty cool. And I'll kind of go over the articulation here. But for $16, I'm pretty impressed. Mm -hmm. It has some things with the articulation that reminds me of my Figmas. The Figmas are 100 and something dollars. So when you think about a $16 figure and me saying it's close to a Figma, it's kind of crazy. Um... It doesn't look as good as the Figmas, but man, I'm pretty stoked for this guy. It looks pretty awesome. These got to be not six inch. What does it say? These got to be like five inch, maybe. I don't know if it says anywhere. Because they are pretty small, which is fine because they are kids. I'm going to have to bring out Zenitsu McFarlane that we just got and see mm -hmm. how much different it is. But he looks great. So couple things here so his joints he does have a good bend there no thigh swivel no toe joint but the ankles move um but i mean like you can see he can get into some pretty good poses with his legs which are pretty nice um they're not really restricted which is super cool the other thing i noticed is you can move his like robes Oh, so that's, nice. that's really cool and that's kind of what i said reminds me of the figmas because you can move those pretty nice which is cool and it doesn't even look that bad when it's bent over like that so pretty cool um these he does have a bicep swivel this is the only thing i know they always do this with like the bleach stuff they make that point there but um there's his whole arm rotation pretty good just you know regular wrist joint not bad his head really good motion in the head up down and then as far as like an ab crunch look at that i know his swords <laughs> you know but he's got a pretty decent ab crunch i mean i'm pretty impressed with this for a 16 dollar figure it looks pretty good um i do want to see if the sword no nah, the whole sword is not going to go in so that is why they gave you the handle the hole on his sheath is pretty small. Let's see if I can even get this in there, though. <laughs> Where the sheath is is kind of hard to get to. I will say that. And I don't know which way this goes. There we go. All right, so that sticks in there pretty nice actually and i think it's gonna stay which is nice so there he is right there so you do get him like that um and then obviously if you want to you can put the sword 
in his hand. And you have to take the hand Well, out. obviously, he's double sword in today. But look how easy he stands, too. Mm -hmm. Like, I haven't really even messed around with him, and he stands really well. Um, and then again, like I said, you do get fist hands as well, so you can put those on. But I'm pretty impressed. Honestly, this thing is really good. I like it. Tandro! That's pretty pretty good, right? Way better than the McFarlane. Yeah, well, to be fair, the McFarlane one uh, was more of a statue. This is more of a figure. So I will bring that out, though, and see when we pull out Zenitsu. But, oh, oh, I'm, I'm digging it. I like it. Yeah. I think it looks, it looks really, good. really good. The box art's awesome. I'm actually glad I opened it because I didn't think it was actually going to be that good. So not bad. So let's get into Inosuke. Now this is really cool because I do not have any Inosuke figure. Um, I didn't buy the Figma one. And for some reason, McFarlane isn't doing Inosuke. Now I'm sure he probably will, but he's not in the first wave. So um, really cool here. Uh, and again, the box is... Mm, that wasn't done. Oh, sorry. The box is fantastic, which I really like. And I... I'm super excited to see the art on the inside once we open it. So, they did only make these three. Um, no Nezuko, which is kind of a bummer. Would have really actually like a Nezuko figure of this. You didn't show the inside of the box. I didn't get to see. Right there. Oh, we're going to open it up. So, you're going <laughs> to see. So, pretty cool. Um, yeah, I'm pretty, honestly, pretty surprised. I did not think... These were going to be even remotely, I don't even know, posable. Like, these to me almost look like BST from, like, Ninja Turtles um, to where, you know, NECA is the, the Ninja Turtles, but BST is a little bit under, but these are pretty solid. Boom! That's cool. There's Inosuke. Really cool. These boxes are fantastic. So, let's see Inosuke. So, shout out to Ryan and Jason. Again, you guys are fantastic for finding these for me because I still have not found them. I honestly might cut these off and do something with them. They're pretty cool. All right, you know, Ske. Now, this one does have a red mark on his chest he came like that it's kind of a bummer but i guess he's just you know he's always bleeding in the show anyway so um again he comes with fist hands and again they're not on which is something that like mcfarland does a ton he leaves the fist hands on fist fist hands <laughs> fist hands on um i'd rather have the fist hands off especially if you're going to give me accessories to go ahead and put on Ooh, I'm stoked for his swords. They did the same branding on his swords, too. Why is one blue, though? There's not one of his is not blue in the show, right? That's interesting. No, I don't think so. Huh? I mean, I like it. Maybe it is, but I don't know. But really... so you get his Nichirin swords, of course, with the like dings in it which are really cool but yeah one is blue and one is regular color inosuke <clears throat> weird right well, i really I don't remember them it. being blue i don't either i don't think they are oh almost felt like his arm was gonna snap to be fair i don't pay attention to him as much dang He's pretty sick, too. He better be crazy flexible, though, because Inosuke is crazy flexible. Bam. He looks pretty good. <laughs> I'm pretty stoked, man. Okay, so there... Look how easy they stand, too. That's so mm -hmm. cool. So there's Inosuke. Um, I think it looks really good. Now, you can see the red mark on his chest. Nothing crazy, but... It's not bad. Again, these are like $16. So I'm not saying this is the best Inosuke. I'm sure the Figma is much better. Um, but really cool. I think they did a really good job on his pants. Even his feet look good. And this, whatever that piece is called, looks awesome. His face looks good. And then, you know, he's shirtless. So you don't really have 
the robes or anything like that so he'll probably be able to move pretty well and i think they did good like even his muscles like that it looks pretty good for a 16 dollar figure there's actually like some definition there you can tell what's what which is really cool so here is Inosuke. Um, same thing. His knees are about the, about the same as Tondro's. He can't do the full splits. And I think that's because of this, which is kind of a bummer because, you know, he's super flexible in the show. So um, it's not terrible, though. He's still got some good flexibility. Again, no thigh swivel, but this knee joint is really nice. And like the whole leg will spin. Um, he does have a bicep swivel. The arms are pretty good. The arms are really skinny, though, and they were on uh, Tondro as well, so you're going to have to be careful just not to do that. Um, so there you go. It's just a peg. Mm. So I don't... I didn't break it. It did come off pretty easy, so you're just going to have to be careful with that. Went back in pretty easy, which is nice. Um, his head, same thing. He's got really good movements in the head it is kind of restricted side to side because of well i guess you get it around because of his mask but you can still get it around like you saw and as far as his ab crunch he kind of has less of an ab crunch just mm -hmm. because i think because of this and because there's not much up there but he can still you know he still got a pretty decent ab crunch he can kind of say well i was trying to do that pop you know that pop oh, where he's like yeah. mm. <laughs> where he's posing so um i mean pretty cool i actually really like this figure it's not bad and then let's go ahead and throw these swords in here sling sling and god this arm wants to keep popping off though so that's kind of a bummer. Um, might just have to watch these arms. They may be doing that pretty easily. God. There is Inosuke. What's really cool is they're not like crazy heavy either. So they do stand pretty easily, even if you don't get those feet down. Very nice, but I think it looks good. Don't mm -hmm. you think? I mean, these are these are pretty solid especially for the price boom so there you go so the last one we have is zenitsu how the heck do you say his last name again i said it last time um, i got i got some uh zenitsu i got some uh so uh zenitsu is one of our favorites now the only thing i'm again i don't really like about this figure either is his face sculpt mm -hmm. it's just kind of boring to me i wish they would have given him a different face sculpt but again it still is really cool. Um, what would have been great <clears throat> is if the face sculpt would have been the one on the box where his eyes are shut and everything. But that's all right. It's not bad. And it would have been cool if he would have came with some lightning effects. But I don't think he does. Well, sorry. Thunder breathing effects. Um, but we'll see how it is. I may try to grab that McFarlane Deluxe that we opened up last week. And see if maybe the head... There's no way if that's what the peg holes look like. Yeah, on no, the I hands, know. Like... I know. There's probably not. And McFarlane's pegs are totally different, but it would be cool to throw that head sculpt on here. So again, there is the box. Bam. Really, really cool. See, that face sculpt just would have been mm -hmm. fantastic. And even what's kind of a bummer is even on the back of the box, it like looks... that's the figure. Yeah. Now, yeah, see, I was going to say, maybe I could get his head down far enough to where it would do it, but... No, it's not going to. So, let's pop open Zenitsu. Yeah, these are sick. These are really cool. I'm really happy with these. Okay. So, Zenitsu is going to be the same as Tanjiro. Um, you get your fist hands. Again, they have, like, the white on there because that's their, like, cuffs with their shirt. Um, Inosuke's was not like that, obviously, because he doesn't have a shirt on. But you do get fist hands. And then you do get his Nichirin sword. And then, again, you get the handle, like, uh, Tanjiro. Now... The one thing I will say about his Nichirin sword is it doesn't have 
his markings on it, which is kind of a bummer. But the sword itself looks better than the McFarlane one, I will say, so far. Boom. It's my only complaint about that sword. It doesn't have his marks on him. Yeah. But... just looks so helpless. <laughs> Man, he's not bad at all either. This is cool. All right, so here is Zenitsu. The face sculpt just kind of sucks. That's the only thing I'll say. It's not, it not when I say that, it doesn't look terrible. It's just you wish you had a better face sculpt for him. Um, but it looks great. His costume looks great. Um, pretty close to Tanjiro's. You still have, you know, same thing here. These flaps can move as well again. He does have his sheets for his sword, so we'll be able to put the handle in there, and then obviously you get the sword. His hair looks good. I mean, I, I don't have a complaint about this guy either. I just wish he would have had a different face sculpt, but it looks really, really good. The one thing I do like what they did with these is their legs don't look as blocky as like uh the anime heroes like bleach ones i got mm -hmm. those are super blocky so again um like i said this can come back you can actually move this up a little bit as well nothing crazy again he's gonna have a good ab crunch like there you go it's kind of weird that inosuke's ab crunch is the worst out of them all um same thing he can get pretty wide with man that's going to be an issue, though. Oh. I can tell that already. It's not broken again, but these pegs are so small that that's going to become an issue. But they go back in super easy, except, see, I try to move it around, and I think it's just because of... Yeah, that's a bummer. I mean, again, though, it's a $16 figure. Like, that shouldn't happen, yeah, but... It's not terrible. Um, this one is in much better than this one. So this one, I just got a loose arm. Maybe I should have opened the other one we got. But, oh, man. Did you just break it? No. Uh, Again, um, so this shoulder just does not want to stay in, though. This is just a peg here. So you could definitely take that all the way off as well. Um, his head, same thing, goes all the way around. Really good mobility in the head. Um, I don't have an issue with him either, except for that shoulder popping out. That's kind of a bummer. <clears throat> but let's get his sword in. Boom. And yeah, I know. He wouldn't have his sword in his hand. Yes, I know. There he is thunder breathing first form he looks good i do like it yeah minus his face i do want to <clears throat> see but something pretty cool see so okay so here is the mcfarlane one we opened last week so it's actually smaller um i actually like this scale better i think this is the perfect height scale for them which is really mm -hmm. cool um but this is what i was talking about with his sword i wish they would have had that on the sword because that's how it is but when you look at these swords this one is way better. Yeah. I mean, it's oh, not yeah. even a contest. Um, but this face sculpt, like I said, is really cool. The one thing, though, I didn't even notice this either. I thought McFarlane's hair looked good. This hair looks so much yeah. better in the back. Way better. It's crazy. So um, they're both pretty solid, though. I do want to see. I don't even know if I could take his head off. Okay. I'm curious, though. No, it's not coming off. <laughs> that's not going to happen, guys. So I was going to try to see if we could get that head on there. I don't think that's going to happen. Um, but these heads come off. I actually like this way, way better yeah. than the McFarlane one. Now, this McFarlane one is not really a figure, so we'll have to wait till we get the actual figure. But dang, I like it. It's mm -hmm. super cool. So and again, the scale, I think, is much better. So, it's still not a Figma, but it is, I would say, if you don't want to spend the money on Figmas, right now, I think these are the cheapest, best figures you could probably get for Demon Slayer. Um, I say that again, we'll have to wait to see 
about the McFarlane one, but I'm pretty satisfied. Little things here and there, you know, that shoulder popping out is kind of a bummer, but come on, Zenny 2, trying to get you in your thunder breathing. That works. So there, there they all are. What do you think? Yeah. They're pretty sweet. Mm -hmm. uh, for $16 and that awesome box art, I'm all down for it. So, yeah. and again, you get your swords, you get even this, the handle part, and you get alternate hands. Fantastic. So. Fantastic. All right. So again, thank you, Jason. Thank you, Ryan. You guys are the man. Um, I still have not seen these in stores, but apparently they're at Target. So if you're interested. Um, yeah. So now we've got a bunch of McFarlane. And I'm actually really stoked for all three of these. These three were some of the ones that have recently came out that I'm like, ooh, super excited. Now, we haven't found... Well, that's a lie. We did find... Ben Affleck's Batman from the Flash movie at Target. Not this past week, but the week before. And I got street dated, so I couldn't walk out with it. So street date was yesterday, or sorry, Friday the 14th. Um, so they're probably popping up in stores. I still haven't seen them again. So hopefully we find them this week. I do have them pre-ordered, so it's not that big of a deal. Um, and I have seen people finding all of that stuff at Macy's. Crazy. There's no Macy's by us, so guess we'll have to wait so but boom again another shout out jason my boy again this is mcfarlane <clears throat> the joker dc versus vampires or vampire joker is what we're going to call him so uh really cool this is a walmart exclusive i still have not seen this this came out right around when beast boy came out found beast boy no issue but have not seen him yet now i am really digging the art on all three of these boxes as well really really cool so this is awesome i'm not a big fan of this big big hammer i won't cuss but uh this big hammer but you know it's okay at least he comes with an accessory so pretty excited to pop this guy open again walmart exclusive uh have not found him yet but jason my buddy found him and shipped him and it got here in like two days so yay usps right all right Oh, and this is. Oh, gold label. There you go. Yeah, gold label. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, Are okay. all three of those gold labels? Yep. So, there is the card. There's the stand. Like I said, I think the card and the picture on the back of the box is actually really cool. So, boom. All right. So, there he is. And we'll get to popping. This hammer, though. I didn't know this was Harley Quinn, um, which is cool. I get well it has a J on it, but um, would be cool if you customize this to be Harley Quinn's hammer because I don't think she came with a small hammer, I guess, from the Suicide Squad one. But I mean, this hammer is pretty cool. It's got a J on each side. Nothing crazy, just straight green. It's pretty heavy though, honestly. And. Joker. Did you even realize it's his face? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, that's a trip. I had no idea. And that's why you are here, because I miss details. That's pretty cool, actually. I, I, I like the hammer more now. <laughs> that's just a cool little thing. It's Pinocchio. Thing <laughs> from Netflix. <laughs> no, this guy is way better in person and way better out of the box. I actually really like this suit. This face sculpt and hands are fantastic. I'll show the figure. Boom, look at Let's that. See. So first of all, the face sculpt is really nice. I mean. Looks like William Defoe. What's wrong with that? Nothing. Nothing. Exactly. So, um, really digging the face sculpt. Love the bloody hands. Super awesome. The suit is great. Um, I'm, I'm pretty picky with my Jokers. Some of them I, you know, really like. Some of them I don't. But this is like a classic. Not classic, because I guess classic would be like um, Jack Nicholson or Cesar Romero. But like this is a Joker that I like 
straight purple, nothing crazy with the suit, um, you know, the shoes, everything. I don't know what I'm saying. So, um, but I love the face sculpt. Looks great. Hands look great. It's a very simple Joker, but that face sculpt knocks it out of the park. The hair looks great. This is really cool. I'm really digging this vampire line. Uh, just really awesome. First of all, the stories were really good from the comics, and these are just, it looks great. Do you like him? Yeah. He's pretty dope, right? Mm -hmm. I honestly don't necessarily think he needed to come with a hammer. This Joker would have been perfect with a crowbar. And I say that, and I get how many times do I tell you? Crowbar after crowbar after crowbar. Mm -hmm. But this would have been perfect with a crowbar, honestly. Um, looks really good. So, again, uh, as far as articulation, you know, it's McFarlane. So you're a little restricted because of his coat, because it's this rubber. You can kind of flip it up a little bit, but... It does restrict that leg movement a little bit, but that's okay. Uh, you know, he can do the splits. No thigh swivel. He does have the toe joint still. Uh, bicep swivel, great. Arms are really good. There's no butterfly joint in there, which, like I said, I'm not a huge fan when he does it on regular figures, but this, uh, and this doesn't have it, so that's cool. The wrist, which, can't, there we go. Yeah, that wrist is kind of messed up, but that's okay. Um, far as his head, not much up with the head. You do have a nice down. Um, you can turn his head pretty well. It's pretty tight. I noticed that right away. Um, and again, not much ab crunch, but you can get him to sit down, which is cool. Um, no alternate hands, which... I mean, I think he should always throw in alternate hands, but I'm okay... I don't, I don't necessarily think this guy needs to have alternate hands. I do like both sets of hands that are on there. The only thing, though, is I don't know if I'm going to be able to... I'm going to break his thumb. This is going to be hard to get in. Jeez. Yeah, you're kind of... You only can get it in this hand because this hand is totally open. So that is kind of a bummer. He always has to hold it in his left hand. Come on. This hammer is just so thick. <laughs> That's what she said, right? Uh... Sorry, guys. I am struggle bussing right now. Come on. Man, it's, <laughs> it's tight. Okay. All right, three hours later, right, guys? Yeah, there he is. Pretty cool. I like it. The hammer actually goes with him pretty well as well. As as well. As, and well. As well. Oh, my goodness. Just knocking everything over. Um, I like it. I think it's pretty solid. This is one of my uh, more favorite Jokers he has come out with. That head sculpt is just too fire. And I love that hand. That looks cool, right? That's pretty solid. No? Yeah. The wife doesn't like it, I can tell. But I like it. Pretty cool. There's his height. Look at that. He's killing those kids. Easily. Ooh. No skate! Oh, oh. All right, Tondra would mess him up. So, pretty cool. We're going to put him back here for right now, but the, I'm I'm loving that. That's fantastic. So, thank you, Jason, again. Super cool. And, again, it is only at Walmart right now. So, last two things we have. Oh, what's it gun? I know which one you're saving for last. Yep. Oh, that's hard because I'm super <laughs> stoked for this. So, boom. This was a mail call from McFarland Toy Store. This is Robin Dick Grayson DC Rebirth. Now, when this first came out, the amount of people just hating on this figure. Um, well, it's gold label and it's only on McFarlandToyStore.com. Sold out. Then, 
everybody complaining. Oh, it's sold out already. It's sold out already. Well, he should have got it. So, um, <laughs> I'm sorry, but like people, they just, I, I do this too. I'm like, that looks terrible. But like you, most of the time when I say it looks terrible, I don't grab it. So, um, this is really cool. I'm pretty stoked for this. It's pretty much a Carrie Kelly body with a new Robin head. Um, but he has so many, he gets four sets of hands and he has his grappling hook super super cool and i love ugh, i love dick grayson robin so really awesome i love the back of the box fantastic now i do wish this hair was would have been on the figure mm -hmm. honestly but it's okay so would you ever wear an outfit like that batman's like this is your outfit you're wearing I think you're the only one who can get me to wear an outfit like that. <laughs> oh, ho, ho, ho. Um, probably not. I don't think I'm the Speedo type guy. Um, I'd look more like Red Hood. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, um, but good question for everybody wondering. <laughs> so the card is, it's funny because I thought like on the back of the box that it was funny. They cut off Batman. You know, it would have been better to have that whole picture there. I mean, they do it on the card, which I wouldn't expect, but I th thought the back of the box would have been better with that. So, um, and again, this is also gold label. And like I said, only on McFarland Toy Store. So let's see what we got, because we've got some really cool hands with this guy. And again, see, this is, there's two, this one and the next gold label I'm opening should be gold label. I like them like that. Do I think he should have been gold label? Probably not. He could have been a regular release. He doesn't really come with anything. So um, you do get, are they the same? No, I think they're all different. So this right hand right here, you get um, kind of to hold some things. He comes with some really great hands though, honestly. These are fantastic. Um, he comes with a pointer finger, a right hand pointer finger, which is cool as well. And then a right hand, sorry, this is left. A left hand fist hand right there which is awesome and it's nice because these other three hands you get are different they're not just the same like three sets they are six different hands which is fantastic so again you get another one to kind of hold stuff but this one is with the left hand it is a little different um, then you kind of get this open claw hand which is pretty cool. That's for your right hand. And then this is my favorite hand right now. Boom. You get a thumbs up. Oh, how cool. That is cool. So you get those hands and then his two hands he comes on are not just fist hands. They are actual different hands as well. Oh, this is fantastic. Okay, so when I saw the pictures for these, I was like, please tell me that that's actual rope. It is actual rope so really really cool um of course it's already knotted though god why would you do rope it's just all knotted right <laughs> yeah i'm gonna have to get that untangled but really cool the battering is pretty awesome as well so really stoked that it's actual rope and it's not just like plastic so really cool there and let's pop him out Let's go, Dick. Ooh, hide in somewhere else. Oh. Should have been a cloth cape. How fantastic would this mm -hmm. have been if it came with a cloth cape, though, too? Yep. Gah! Spirit fingers. I don't think I'm going to get Elf Boy to stand, though. We'll stand him on the back of his cape. He's doing a pelvic thrust. There Ooh, it is. I so, hate this. You hate it? Yeah. Why? That's how it's supposed to look. I think it looks fantastic. I don't know. His legs look like they're wooden. Yeah, he's Pinocchio. Yeah. Again, we're doing Pinocchio. So, um... <laughs> I love the face. Again, if I had something to change, I would have changed just the hair a little bit. I love that other hand. He then gets another fist hand. The costume looks great. He looks old. 
but he's not he's young he looks like a little old man boy you know no, like, he doesn't <laughs> he looks fantastic i love it i think it looks so good um okay. i get what you're saying though about his legs looking wooden and that's because you can really see those pegs on there um but so there he is i can't get him to stay <laughs> let me <laughs> let's try this oh he's pretty tight toy like a toyga his elf shoes piss me off, though. But, you know, that's what he's supposed to have, so. Oh, Lord. Oh Maybe I should gosh. just grab the stand. Hold on. I got one. We'll just take the Joker's stand real quick. I didn't even think about him not standing, but. Yeah. Oh, no, Collector B, you're using a stand. Yeah, I know. I'm just as disappointed as you guys are. Lord, he likes to... Why does he go so far back? That will work. Okay, much better. So, there he is. <laughs> Why are you laughing? I don't know, just this pose he's in. His, hey! Well, and his arm looks broke. The way his elbow was like... Okay, <laughs> she's just hating. So, um, I like it. I think it's really cool. I think he came with a lot of great hands. And, you know, this rope is awesome. I mean, again, if you have the Carrie Kelly, it's pretty much the same outfit. I'm almost positive. I would grab my Carrie Kelly, but I don't want to. Because she's in a nasty pose right now. Um... But he looks great. I think he looks fantastic. Dick Grayson is my favorite Robin um, right there with Kelly, Carrie Kelly. So I'm super stoked with this. I know a lot of people were like, oh, can I use this for Jason with the Joker, you know, from Death in the Family. But which you probably could. But it is definitely Dick Grayson. I get what you're saying. I think it's really cool, though. So this arm is kind of interesting, though. And I think you are restricted. So as far as uh, flexibility, joints, what <laughs> articulation, my goodness. Um, he can do the splits. Really cool. No thigh swivel. He's got some good bends, um, which is nice because you kind of want him in like a pose like this almost. Uh, the toe joint. Stop laughing. You're <laughs> such sorry. a hater, man. Um, the arms have a good bend. They do have a bicep swivel. This arm is going to be a little more restricted just because of how the cape uh, is. I mean, you can still get it back since his arm is broken. Um, and this arm, you can get it all the way around easily because it's not restricted from the cape. His head all the way around has a little bit of an up, has a little bit of a down. And that's his ab crunch. So nothing crazy there. But I can't believe you. Look at, he's just, oh, <laughs> I love these hands. He came with some really cool hands. So, oh, bummer. That sucks though. I'm going to have to take this hand off to do the thumbs up. The thumbs up. Oh, oh, he is very skinny though. So you're going to have to be careful. You don't snap these pegs. Hey. A <laughs> really cool and is that the right way yeah we're gonna have him just pointing all over the place we don't even care oh no <gasps> the peg came out oh i just broke him okay maybe he's gonna stay with a fist hand Wow, I've never had that happen. So the whole peg came all the way out, and it goes all the way through this glove into there. Yep, same thing. Bummer. Well, that's fine. I just got to end up getting some tweezers to mess with that, so I guess we'll leave the fist hand on now. Um, but really cool. I do wish he would have came with, like, a fight stand. I think that would have been really cool, but ah, I'm digging this. I don't know why you're such a hater aid. I don't know. Oh, there we go. That looks good, right? <laughs> My goodness. 
Dun, dun, dun. Oh, there is Dick Grayson's Robin. So I like it a lot. I think you get some really cool hands. I think he looks fantastic, even though the wife's a hater. Um, he looks awesome. There is his scale next to these guys, uh, which is pretty cool. He's a little bit bigger than them, which I would expect him to be. Um, and then his scale next to the Joker. The Joker is ginormous compared to him. So um, I love it, though. I think it's really, really good. So don't listen to the wife. She's a hater. So... All right, I've been doing a lot of talking in this video. My yeah. goodness, this is a long video. So the last thing we got here, I'm just beyond stoked about. And again, this is what Gold Label should be. So boom, we have Batman Dark Detective Ooh. Joker eyes, I guess is what it would be. Um, so when I say this should be Gold Label, I know we have gotten now two or three of this batman okay now one came with the coat one came without the coat and now you're giving me this one i don't care i think this is really cool but this is what a gold label should be first of all this box is so cool so cool you have the ha ha everywhere on the back the picture is fantastic i didn't even realize he cr they crossed out DC Future State. Yeah, you didn't see That's that. That's cool. Okay. And then again, the ha ha's. You have this here on the top. You have the yeah, ha ha's. I showed that. You got the purple. Well, I didn't get to talk about it. So just <laughs> really cool. And then again, you look in there. Look what he comes with. He's coming with cards, a stand. And I believe that is a stand to hold his card like King Shark did, which it's been the only one. So um, I ended up pre-ordering this at Target, but we ended up finding it at Target as well. Um, they had two at my Target, so you should be able to find it pretty easily, I think. Um, should we? You should, Stu. Um, but just really cool. This is what I expect when you announce Gold Label. I don't want something just boring, generic, a little bit of a color change. This thing is way different. Again, I know we've gotten this Batman like four times now. So yep so there you go so you get a stand a stand for the card and then these cards i want to see exactly what these do um so we're actually going to dig into this whole thing today don't bend them it's almost impossible no it's not for me oh. all right so here is the card which even the card has green splatter all over it. Looks really cool. McFarlane must have watched our channel. You know? Because we finally get another card stand. <laughs> we and you have said that since the king shark gold label came out that he needed to do this more because that's fantastic yeah, that's awesome like it's really cool i would totally display the cards if he gave us this every time um and i think he doesn't even have to do it every time but if you do a, a gold label and you actually do it gold label so it's actually different this is a really cool little piece mm -hmm. so boom there is that that's fantastic um, then you do get these cards, which I am so, which even the holder for the cards is cool. Um, dude, these are, these are really cool. I'm not a fan of the back. They should have done something different on the back to me. So on the back of these cards, they are actual like playing cards. Okay. But the back's really boring. Mm -hmm. Um, you should have done something like Batman themed or Joker themed, but you do get, it's funny, also, I didn't realize. Oh, never mind. Well, it's funny. They skip over the Joker, obviously. So, boom, you get 10 of diamonds? No. Well, no, they're not all diamonds. No, so, <laughs> yeah, it's mm, 10 of diamonds. So, really cool. I like how that looks a lot. Really awesome. Then you get the Queen of... Is that a... It's gotta be a it's club, right? That's a weird club. It's, yeah, different. Yeah. But... But really cool there. Again, super awesome. 
Then you get the King of Hearts, which is really cool. I just, these are just a really cool thing just to throw in there. And again, you know, gold label. So like, what am I going to do with these cards? I don't know. Probably not much, but it's still a cool little thing. And then you get the Ace of Clubs. That would be a spade, sir. Well, that looks... Oh, it is different. Okay. The club and the spade are pretty hard to figure out what they are. But, so, boom. You get these four cards. And, of course, you don't get a Joker card because he's a Joker. So, really cool. First of all, all that's really cool. Then you do, you do, you do get this stand. And, again, like, if you're going to give me a stand, give me something cool like this. This is really cool than just your basic DC generic stand. This is awesome. I probably am going to put him on the stand because I'm good with that. So... Now, he does give you all that. But that's it. But that's it. <laughs> he don't give you uh, no alternate hands, no accessories. I mean, those are his accessories, even though he's not going to be able to use them. So, I mean, kind of a bummer there, especially if it's gold label. I just think when he does gold label, he should do cool things like this. And they should just have some really cool stuff that comes with them. But... I feel like everything is gold label now. I've talked about that before, so. But I'm pretty excited for this guy. Oh, even his boots are cool. Yeah, some alternate hands would have been good, but. Oh, he looks so good. Yes, sir. Guess what? We're going to use the stand. I'll just want to be like top heavy though. Come on, bro. I don't use stands. This is why I don't use stands. Okay, so there he is. So first of all, again, I talked about this Joker face sculpt. This face sculpt is really cool too. Now. I'm a huge Joker Batman fan, so to me, everything like that looks awesome. I love the outfit. Outfit looks great. The boots are really cool color. Um, you know, the purple really just pops with everything on there. It just looks really good. And again, I know we've got this figure three times now, but I'm all for it. And I like the coat. I did buy the one without the coat, but I didn't even open it because... I was like, what's the point? But <clears throat> I actually really, really like the coat. The coat looks all oh, exactly the same, I think. This is pretty much the exact same Batman. Even the jacket goes the same way. The pads are in the same spot. Um, everything is pretty much the same. He has the rope there. His belt, I think, is exactly the same. So, I mean, oh, no. You do have pretty much the exact same Batman there all over the place, mm -hmm. but just the repaint. And again, his gloves are super cool. I really, really like his gloves. It's just really cool. So, I understand if you don't get this because this is a repaint, but it has some really cool things with it, which he did have a thigh swivel. Um, and I really dig it. I really like this undershirt, which is cool. And yeah, man, again, I hate that he does this. You could easily see that you could take this off, mm -hmm. but his arms, but his sleeves are there. That's kind of a bummer. Um, but that's okay. So I do wish we would have got like a batarang or a gun or something, but he does have the thigh swivel. His legs are going to move well. He's not going to be restricted toe joints there. Arms are good, too. He's not restricted, even with the jacket. A um, little bit of an ab crunch. Nothing crazy. And then the head is super tight. You can hear that. But you can get it up. And you can get it down. And he just looks... He looks so cool. I'm really digging this. Let's have him, like... Yep, didn't stay. But I'm I'm stoked. I like this a lot. I really do. 
Um, some better accessories would have been nice, but, you know, at least he gave you kind of some cool little things. But, yeah, there it is. So, we have the Batman Joker, whatever the heck you want to call it. We've got Vampire Pinocchio. Joker, Pinocchio, Robin. Uh, we've got these Bondi Demon Slayer figures, Zenitsu, Tanjiro, and Inosuke. <clears throat> and then we've got the nice gold label card there. So, really cool. I'm digging it. I'm I'm digging all of this. I really don't have a complaint here. These are much better than I thought they were going to be. And again, $16.00 pretty nice for $16. This, I love this. I don't know why she hates on Pinocchio here. Her nose is growing as she's hating on it, but really, really, really cool. The hands are fantastic. Uh, this is just, this is just cool. This is just right up my alley. Um, <laughs> right up my alley. Mm -hmm. So really cool there. And this, this is much better than I thought. His face sculpt is great so i can't wait to pose him with the rest of my jokers awesome there so really cool again shout out to my peeps for helping me out with some of this stuff you guys are awesome um we should have some mcfarland demon slayer coming next week hopefully some power rangers coming next week we've got a lot of stuff coming which is really cool um and hopefully all that batman stuff from the flash movie comes out as well um and then of course pops will be back next week she's got quite a bit she's gonna have to sprinkle in there so really cool so follow us on instagram link will be in the description below um appreciate you all you guys are fantastic um hope you have a fantastic rest of your sunday have a great week get out hunting let me know what you think uh let me know what your favorite thing here is and why it's pinocchio um <laughs> and yeah happy sunday have a great day and as always Collectors never stop collecting.